Welcome to another episode of Fork You. I'm Briley Hale here at Haven Lounge with executive chef Todd Erickson. Me? We have a special Halloween episode for you today. So um, what spooky recipe do you have planned for us? Well, since you're about to see a lot of pumpkins all over the place, I thought we'd put them to good use and uh, make a pumpkin, oh, excuse me, a pumpkin <laughs> salsa. <laughs> Woo, all right. <laughs> yeah, it got me so excited I couldn't even say it. Right. So we're gonna make the, the salsa first and with a little extra time that we have, I'm gonna grill up some shrimp and we're gonna make some shrimp tacos with okay. the pumpkin salsa. So, oh, pumpkin like on plan? pumpkin, sounds like a great pumpkin plan. Pumpkin. Cool. All right, so we're gonna start with um, dicing up these vegetables. This is a roasted salsa. Okay. So um, we're gonna do a little knife work, get these rough chopped. Okay, so tomatoes down. That was three tomatoes. Three tomatoes, all right. Just chop, chop, chop. Chop, 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 and done. And this is one yellow onion, cut the same way, just into wedges. I know, tears of joy once you try I just this. Can't wait to taste the pumpkin. Right, good. <laughs> What else do we have? We've got some cloves of garlic. garlic These are already okay. peeled. Uh, there's like eight of them in there. And you know, all of this is based on taste anyways. If you're not a big garlic fan, right. less. I happen to be a big garlic fan, so we're gonna you know, all really load it. it up. Oh, and then we've got a jalapeno. Ooh, can't forget those jalapenos, baby. So again, this is you know based on spiciness. You can leave the seeds and the veins in. Mm -hmm. That's what that's what really gives that's you the kick. That's what kicks you, yeah. But <laughs> if you're not into spicy, but you still like that pepper flavor, mm -hmm. you can take the seeds and veins out, throw it in. And we're also adding chipotles at the end. So oh, okay. we're gonna layer that spice. So I'm gonna take out some of this because we're gonna we're gonna put the heat back in at the end. And this is a little bit of. Uh, I use grapeseed oil, but vegetable oil, corn oil, whatever you want to use. Okay. And we're gonna give that a quick toss. All right, so we've got lots of yumminess lots already. Lots of yumminess already in there. Some Looks like a party. tomatoes, yeah. Looks like a great party to me. Okay, and then on a baking sheet, we're gonna put that out and then throw this in the oven. Nice. All right, that's going in the oven. All right. So for how long do we have it in the oven? Um, until it's brown, like nice Brownish. and, you'll see when it comes out. Okay. Um, you're gonna want a little char on there that gives it that extra mm, good flavor. Yeah. Um, 500 degrees really does the trick, 500 and over. If you if you um, go like 300, it's just right. gonna kind of simmer and, you know, it's yeah. like a, uh, Okay. As promised, mm. see some seriously roasted Ooh, vegetables. Look at that. All right, so in the oven, 500. And get that nice Making it look Ooh. all, ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing there with the? Uh, I'm rubbing with lines. love, yeah, <laughs> we're ro rolling with love. We're giving a little massage. So. Uh, <laughs> if you want your food to be really nice to you, it Pay no attention to the good. man rolling the lines. Just get some love in all there. Right. <laughs> so this will give us a better juice yield when, when it comes to squeezing oh, okay. that juice out, so. Look at that, you learn something new every day. Right? Okay. So next time somebody walks in and I'm just <laughs> doing this in my kitchen, I'm getting the juices flowing. <laughs> all right? <laughs> Literally, all right. Honestly, I Honestly. mean Honestly, <laughs> okay. So we've got those, and now the rest is you know, super easy. All right, I like the sound of easy. It's super easy. Okay, so we get all that yumminess up off there. All that yumminess, you don't want to miss any of it. Mm -hmm. Got the garlic, the onions, the tomatoes, and jalapenos. And yeah. we keep scraping, and we keep scraping. Okay. Okay, so now we have missed nothing. Missed nothing, and now it's time for the star of the show. This is oh. the pumpkin. Now, I right. did not, you know, spend a day roasting and peeling and all of that for the pumpkin. This you cheated? I did, I cheated because canned yeah, pumpkin is basically the only canned vegetable that I'll use. It's, it's a really good product. Um, well, because I don't know about you or if you have any tricks or anything, but when I try to use like actual pumpkin to make like in my pumpkin bread and things like that, I just end up spending a ridiculous amount of time and I end up lot messing of, it up. It's a lot of time and you don't end up getting as concentrated of a flavor right. as this. And it's all natural. It's just, it's the way that they, they steam it and whatever. It's, it's easy, to, easy, it's easy. Easier to do. <laughs> and the first parts was all fresh and everything. So I don't mind, you know, throwing in a little cheat right. every once in a while. All right. So if you want to help me out with. Okay. Look at that. Ooh, Ooh, it's getting juicy. Look, I'm not as strong as you. <laughs> I was ever both hands, I'm like. <laughs> Perfect. One more. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna so add. This is. Yeah, on, on subject. Um, 
Two chipotle peppers is what, what I think. You know, two? Okay. Two. And then this is the adobo. This is also a canned. Okay, I lied. I used two canned vegetables. <laughs> I know, All this right. is really bad. Done. All the secrets are coming out. Okay, <laughs> just kill it. Yeah. All right. All right. So um, these are smoked jalapenos. Uh, that are in, in their own juices, uh, an adobo seasoning, uh, okay. really great flavor and really nice heat too. So right. that's where we're going to see some more heat. So you can just buy that in the store, canned already, just like the pumpkin. Yeah, they're like 79 cents a can for, for a full can. Oh, well then, yeah. Good stuff. Great stuff. Yeah. Sounds awesome. Okay, so this is my serious commercial um, RoboCoop, yeah. we call it, but any food processor at home will work just fine. <laughs> Being measured, make sure you cover the hole. Okay, we're gonna wear this around. It's the sound of magic. It is you magic. Hear that? Magic in the making. Okay. Do mm. a little salt. So you just okay. threw in some salt. What kind of salt did you use? Not, not like regular table salt. No, I, I don't. I don't. I'm not a fan of the iodized salt because, uh, as chefs, we're pinching the salt and seasoning, and the right. iodized salt just runs through your fingers exactly. so you easily. Really it's hard it. to control it. So with the kosher salt or the Maldon salt, you get a nice flavor as well as easy control while you're seasoning. You can actually feel what you're throwing into your right. sauces. Now this looks a little thick because the mm -hmm. the vegetables roasted a while. So I have a little extra lime juice so we don't have to All squeeze right. quite as hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, get your work out. Get that work out. And not cause an explosion. There you go. Okay, shall we taste? Oh, absolutely. Is that a question? <laughs> Ooh, All yeah, right. thank you. Uh huh. Where are we at? Oh my god. You are not gonna like this, sir. <laughs> it's More got a, than me. This has got a good kick. It's this very is amazing. Very tasty. Oh okay. man, if you love salsa and spice as much as I do, this is like the holy grail. <laughs> it's got pumpkin in it. Yeah, it's got it's a, everything that I just can't even. Uh, all right, so we've roasted so, our vegetables. We pureed it, added some lime, and that was. That's that's it, that's right? That's it, and and you this know this is so is, easy. Yeah, this is no joke salsa. Now we can go a little further with this. We can stop right here with the. I chose blue corn uh, tortilla chips for the holiday. Of course. Um, so we can just leave it with this, but we can okay. go a little further. Why not? Kicking it up, another notch. We're gonna do some shrimp tacos. So, Ooh, tacos. Yeah, I put these on skewers. I just uh, okay. skewered some Key West pink shrimp um, tail off for these. Okay. And the reason I kept them on skewers is it'll keep them from curling up like right. like they're you know you they're, they usually do. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like you're getting more shrimp. You get more shrimp and it'll lay nicely over the tortilla. Perfect. So um, easier yeah. to eat. So easier you put some eat. more grapeseed oil. A little or? more grapeseed oil and a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. And okay. these will go right on the grill. So these don't take very long. Right. I just need, I want a nice little char on there. I just, ah. I also like it because you feel so fancy, but it's so easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. All of these recipes are just, you know, just, just so a few simple. ingredients, yeah. just really good flavors, concentrating the flavors and I always presenting find, them nicely. I always find myself looking online. I'm like, oh, I really want to impress my boyfriend because I don't have any cooking skills. And right. You get online and you're like, oh, I'm way in over my head. Yeah, and I mean, then, any ingredient list over like that high online, it's kind of exactly. like Exactly. And then why? I go to the grocery store and I'm like, I'm so overwhelmed. I don't mm -hmm. know what any of this is. But this stuff, I for sure, I can go home. I know I can make that. That's right. so easy to do. Okay, All so. Right. So we didn't leave those on for very long. You Not just, long, just teased them on there. Exactly. Get it a little cooked up, a little bit of charcoal up in there. And then, ooh, ooh. they're still jumping. Yeah. All right. We're gonna do some tortillas on the grill. These are corn, but um, flour work just as well. It's you know very much a personal preference. I think the corn go really nicely with this. We're on gonna, that South Beach diet. Yeah. yeah, you get the corn tortillas. No carbs, yeah. <laughs> and these, this is really just enough to, just to heat it get up some a heat on bit. it. Yeah, it, it really makes the masa taste, uh, the corn flour taste a lot better. Yeah. Ooh. Do you feel like when you cook corn tortillas that it changes the texture a little bit of it too? 
I do. Like if you, if you're not if you don't have a grill in your house and you don't want to fire up the grill outside, mm -hmm. you know all these are easy to do. You know, a little bit of oil in a pan right. and just heat them up on both sides. Exactly. It makes a big difference. It, it's uh, the difference between home cook and professional cook. Absolutely. But it's an easy step to take that makes you you know feel right. like a professional feel cook. That much more sophisticated. Ooh. It is hot back there. Yeah. Breaking a sweat. All right. So I also grilled off some corn. Okay. Easy, easy. Just uh, just throw easy. it on the grill. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get much easier than that. So we're gonna cut this off of the cob. Yum, yum, mm. yum. There's always an excuse for a taco. Always. So. <laughs> okay, so we've got the corn down. We're gonna okay. do an avocado, and then we are ready to go. You can never go wrong with some avocado. No, pretty delicious. Man, that knife is sharp. Yeah. That usually works really well. I was looking at it, I'm just like, oh, that's what I look As like. As it I'm goes through my like, hand. I try to do that, and I take it, and I'm like, and it just never works. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna pretend like I didn't do that. Next Halloween special, Todd goes to the emergency room. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're just slicing and slicing dicing. Slicing and dicing, we're, these are the final moments. Mm. See, I can't even concentrate anymore. I'm just like, give it to drool worthy, me Drool-worthy fork you food. Mm. That's what we do. It's this, this is actually really good party food for um, a Halloween party this because, is, you know, it's not too heavy. It's super easy to make. Yeah, and you can do this stuff buffet style, too. You know, you can grill right. up some chicken and exactly. you know, have a couple of different salsas. You can have like do-it-your-own taco kind of thing. People love that, including me. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> invite me. Again, again invite me. <laughs> okay, so party at my new place. Yes. All right, let's But get. everybody has to pretend like I'm the best chef in the world or else you're not invited. <laughs> Okay, so now let's do some tacos. Ooh, ch -ch tacos. Ch -ch 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 tacos. Right. So we'll take our shrimps. Oh, look at that. It's almost like it was planned. Look, <laughs> look at that. It looks like somebody thought this through. Just a little bit. All right, so we got the corn tortilla. Corn tortilla. We have the shrimp. Throw in some avocado there. Avocado. Yum, yum, yum. Then we'll do, let's go here. And then we get some salsa. All right, and then the corn. Corn. This is a little bit of cotija cheese, a little Mexican cheese. Now, what did you call it? Cotija. Cotija. C-O-T-I-J-A, but jack cheese would work just as well. Jack cheese, okay. Jack cheese, <laughs> jack cheese, and we'll, I can we'll imagine steal. me going into the grocery store being like, it's co- Oh man, when I go to the grocery store. Yeah, depending on which grocery store you, you get like, yeah, people are like, what? Wide-eyed wide stares. Oh my gosh. So that's it. So a little bit of cheese, corn, the salsa. So you can take one dish yeah. and expand it into, yeah, you know, that's more than awesome. one dish. Perfect, <laughs> yeah. I'd be putting this on everything. It's a good Cereal. good thing this yeah. time here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, should we do a taste test? Uh, absolutely. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. Cheers. Cheers. You've done it again. Oh, it's a good taco. Oh my gosh. That's so good. <laughs> I'm just like blown away. Okay, so let's do a little recap. Sure. First, you start with the salsa, and to start with that, we get our vegetables, roast them in the oven. Yep. And then you bring them over here, puree it up a little bit. Puree it up you a little bit. You gotta add your pumpkin, and then you add your chipotle with the adobo. And then you grill your shrimp. Yep. And then you come back over here after you've grilled your corn as well. Yes. Chop up the corn, chop up your avocados, lay out your tortillas, bing, 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 and there you, you go. make some killer tacos. I make some killer yeah. tacos. Good recap. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if I can do, if I feel like I can do this, for sure anybody else can do this. <laughs> easy, easy. Super easy. Yeah. Okay guys, that wraps it up for our pumpkin salsa and shrimp tacos. If you have any other ideas for us to make in the kitchen, uh, comment in the section below. Uh, and remember, if you don't like uh, our recipes, fork, fork you. you.